In this video, you will learn to set and adjust basic and advanced functions of the ECM Mechanica Max espresso machine. This video is chaptered for quick access to specific functions. Enter the menu by simultaneously pressing and holding the down and up arrow buttons. Use the down arrow button to cycle through settings. Choose the desired menu operation by pressing the up arrow button. Then adjust a setting using the down and up arrow buttons. Settings are automatically saved after 5 seconds of inactivity, so changes should be made swiftly. If at any point there are 5 seconds of inactivity, the display returns to the home screen. When first turning on a cold machine, CLD is shown on the display until the required temperature measured at the boiler and brew group is reached. After about 25 minutes, the machine will heat to set temperature and the brew group will reach operating temperature. CLD will disappear and the display shows the boiler or brew temperature depending on the mode selected. During heating, when showing CLD, the machine can still be operated at any time, but we recommend waiting until CLD has disappeared from the display. During an extraction, the display becomes a shot timer. If active pre-infusion is in progress, the display shows three dashes during this phase. If passive pre-infusion is in progress, the display shows a countdown of passive pre-infusion time. Once pre-infusion is complete, the display shows the shot timer. See chapters later in this video for more information and pre-infusion settings. Using Eco Mode, an after last use time in minutes can be set for the machine to enter standby, which turns off boiler heating. Eco mode can be turned off or set from 30 to 600 minutes in 30 minute intervals. Pressing any button or operating the brew lever takes the machine out of eco mode. Eco standby mode can be turned on at any time by pressing and holding the down arrow button until a dot that is moving left to right appears in the display. The default setting of the eco mode is 90 minutes. Under the menu item T1, you can set the desired brewing temperature. This is a target temperature measured by a sensor at the top of the brew group. This temperature is used by the flush advisor and when the machine is used in brew temperature control mode. See chapters later in this video for more information on those functions. The default value for T1 is 92 Celsius or 198 Fahrenheit. T2 sets the desired boiler temperature. When the brew temperature control mode is set to off, the machine runs in standard HX mode and the brew temperature is derived from the T2 temperature setting, which could cause a brew temperature which is too hot without a flush. We recommend setting T2 to 124 degrees Celsius or 255 Fahrenheit for a brew temperature suitable for medium roast coffees. See the chapter later in this video for more information on brew temperature control mode. The flush advisor is a useful tool when operating the machine with brew temperature control turned off. When the flush advisor is turned on, the machine uses the brew temperature sensor at the top of the group to monitor brew water temperature. Three dashes at the top of the display indicate brew water is overheated. RDY indicates it's at the temperature set in T1, and three dashes at the bottom of the display indicate low temperature. If the display shows three dashes at the top, perform a flush by raising the brew lever without the portafilter in place. When three dashes go away and the shot timer starts, lower the lever. The display will show RDY indicating the machine is at the brew temperature set in T1. At that point, attach your portafilter and begin the extraction. 
RDY for ready appears in the display when the machine is operating in standard HX mode. FLU is on and temperature measured by the sensor at the top of the group agrees with the desired brew temperature set in T1. When you see RDY in the display, the machine is ready to brew with no flush needed. The PI setting turns pre-infusion on and off. The Mechanica Max has the ability to set a time for passive pre-infusion driven by the pressure from a direct waterline connection and the ability to set a time for active pre-infusion, which runs the pump when taking water from the onboard water tank. These times are set under advanced user settings. See the passive and active pre-infusion chapters later in this video for more information on setting those features. To quickly toggle pre-infusion on or off without entering the menus, press and hold the right button until PI appears in the display. If pre-infusion is off, this turns it on, and then next press and hold turns it off. Using the CLN setting, a reminder can be set to clean the brew group after a desired number of brew cycles or turn the function off. Brew cycles only count if the cycle lasted more than 15 seconds. When the set number of cycles is reached, CLN appears in the display. After cleaning the machine with 10 cleaning cycles, the message will be deleted and the counter will be reset. To reset the counter manually, CLN can be set to off and afterwards a new value can be set if desired. The RST setting is used to reset the water filter reminder described later in this video. To reset a reminder, navigate to RST on the display. Then press the up button to enter the menu. Then choose water filter reminder FL. Then press and hold the up button until three dashes appear in the display, which indicates a successful reset of the reminder. Advanced User Settings AUS, is used to turn on and off the display of advanced and optional settings in the menu. Turn on AUS for access to brew temperature control, passive pre-infusion, active pre-infusion, water filter reminder, standby for enabling the scheduling functions, clock settings, day of the week scheduling for setting on-off times, tank setting for water source selection, degree setting for Celsius or Fahrenheit, and E11 to make slight adjustments to the brew water offset temperature. Advanced user settings must be turned on to adjust this function. Brew temperature control determines where temperatures are measured and how the machine is heated. When set to off, the temperature sensor within the boiler controls heating of the machine. BC1 through 3 use the temperature sensor at the top of the group to control heating of the machine. In these modes, accurate brew temps are possible without the need to flush the machine. BC1 is the slowest heating mode with the lowest overshoot. BC2 is the recommended heating mode, and BC3 is the fastest heating mode recommended only for experienced users making a steady amount of shots in quick succession. When using brew temperature control, the boiler temperature could be too low to steam milk comfortably. To increase the boiler temperature temporarily for steaming, press the down button during a coffee extraction. ST appears in the display, and the boiler begins heating to the user set T2 temperature. Pressing the down button two times during a coffee extraction causes STH to appear in the display and the boiler begins heating to the maximum possible T2 temperature. Watch the pressure gauge. We recommend at least 1.2 bar on the gauge for steaming milk. Once the extraction is complete, Pressing the down button again cancels extra heating immediately, or do nothing and extra heating stops automatically after about three minutes 
and the machine cools down to the original T1 temperature setting while maintaining the pressure range from 0.7 to 1.5 bar. Advanced user settings must be turned on to adjust this function. Passive pre-infusion is recommended for use when the machine is connected to an external water source or in addition to active pre-infusion when running from the machine's water tank. It should not be used without active pre-infusion when running from the tank. To set, navigate to PRP, then press the up key and use the up and down keys to set. Passive pre-infusion can be turned off or set for a time ranging from 1 to 9 seconds. When active, raise the lever. The display will show a negative counter for the set time and the machine allows outside line pressure to push water and infuse the coffee. After the set time elapses, the pump comes on and rises to normal brewing pressure. Advanced user settings must be turned on to adjust this function. Active pre-infusion is recommended for use only when the machine's tank is used as the water source. Passive pre-infusion must be turned on in order to access and use active pre-infusion. To set, navigate to PRA. Then press the up key and use the up and down keys to set. Active pre-infusion can be set to off or for times ranging from 1 to 10 seconds. When active, lift the lever and the display will show dash, dash, dash for the set time. The pump runs for the set amount of time and then pauses for the time set in the passive pre-infusion mode. After the time elapses, the pump comes on and rises to normal brewing pressure. Advanced user settings must be turned on to adjust this function. To access the water filter reminder, navigate to the FL setting on the display and press the up button. Here you can set to off or to the number of liters of water used before you get a reminder to change the water filter ranging to a maximum of 200 liters. When the machine is turned on, H2O will be shown for a short time indicating the actual water consumption of the machine. After receiving a warning, it can be cleared using the reset function described in an earlier chapter in this video. Advanced user settings must be turned on to adjust this function. The Mechanica Max has the ability to schedule two on-off times per weekday and two for weekends. To use scheduling functions, standby must be turned on. When standby is set to off, scheduled on-off times are ignored and the machine follows any eco settings. To change standby settings, navigate to SBY, push the up arrow button and use it to toggle on or off. Advanced user settings must be turned on to adjust this function. To set the clock, navigate to CLO, then press the up arrow key. Then use the up and down keys to set the current time in 24-hour format in 10-minute increments. For example, 16.4 stands for 4.40 p.m. Advanced user settings must be turned on to adjust this function. To set the day of the week, navigate to DAY, then press the up arrow key. Then use the up and down keys to set the day of the week. One corresponds to Monday, two to Tuesday, and so on out to six and seven for Saturday and Sunday. Advanced user settings must be turned on to adjust this function. To schedule on-off times, navigate to SCH in the display. Then press the up button to enter the menu. Then use the down button to select D15 for Monday through Friday times or D67 for Saturday and Sunday. Then use the up button to select and the down button to toggle through on one, off one, on two, and off two. 
Then use the up and down buttons to set the time in the 24 hour format in 10 minute increments. Please note, timer standby, SBY, must be turned on for the schedule to run. Advanced user settings must be turned on to adjust this function. Select the water source for the machine using TAN, the tank function. When using the machine with a direct connected water supply, set the tank function to off. If using the machine's tank to supply water, set the tank function to on. Set the valve underneath the rear of the machine to the proper position for your water source selection. For a direct water line supply, turn the valve to point at the water line connection. If using the tank to supply water, turn the valve to point away from the direct water line connection. Advanced user settings must be turned on to adjust this function. To change the display to Celsius or Fahrenheit, use the down key to navigate to the degree symbol. Then press the up key to enter and either key to toggle between C for Celsius and F for Fahrenheit. Advanced user settings must be turned on to adjust this function. The E11 offset allows for compensation for external factors which cause slight deviations between the temperature measured in the machine and the temperature output. To access, use the down button key to navigate to E11. Then press the up arrow key to enter, and then the up and down arrow keys to adjust in steps of one, between five and minus five in Fahrenheit, or three and minus three in Celsius.